Hello all. Welcome to the program Know Your Government by Neo AS, an initiative where a government scheme is picked upon, elaborated and is followed by a question which is in line with the UPSC pattern. Today we will look into a scheme or a program which is known as the IIC program. IIC program. Now, IIC basically stands for Institutions Innovation Council. Institutions Innovation Council program is IIC. This is a program which is spearheaded by the Ministry of HRD, that is Ministry of Human Resources and Development. Now, under the innovation cell of MHRD, so Ministry of Human Resources Development, to foster the innovation ecosystem in our nation, have created something which is known as an innovation cell. Innovation cell. Now, Ministry of Human Resources Development has established an innovation cell at AICTE, that is All India Council for Technical Education. So, at AICTE, the MHRD has established something which is known as an innovation cell. Now, what is the purpose of this innovation cell? To ensure that or to systematically foster the culture of innovation in all higher education institutions across the country or this is an initiative which is focusing upon triggering innovations in higher education across our nation. So that is the key crux of the institutions innovation council program. Then a significant step in institutionalizing innovation, institutionalizing innovation one and developing a scientific temperament in the country. So because of the development which the people are having in terms of the scientific aspect capitalizing that upon as well as in the angle of innovation so that new technologies, new products, new prototypes etc. are developed which is going to be of benefit to the larger chunk of our nation is one of the key objective of IIC program. Now, nurture, inspire and encourage. Nurture the talent, inspire the talent and encourage the talent especially at the higher education institutions is one of the key objective of IIC program. Nurture inspire and encourage the talent. Now, the purpose of formation of network of institutions innovation council. So, institutions innovation council network has been formed with the objective to encourage, inspire and nurture young students by exposing them to new ideas and processes. So, as long as the students, especially in their early formative years during their Education period is getting exposed to the latest innovation gamut. Then there is a big prospect for the young generation in our nation is again one of the key crux of this program. So far more than 1000 higher education institutions, more than 1000 higher education institutions have already formed IACs in their campus and they have enrolled for the IAC letter which is managed by the innovation cell of MHRD. So, more than 1000 uh, institutions are, have already been part of this one and this specially been done with a larger number of institutions would lead to an innovation promotion ecosystem in the campuses of our nation would lead to an innovation promotion ecosystem would lead to an innovation promotion ecosystem in the campuses of our nation. Then, especially in the developed countries across the world, the universities play a pivotal role in terms of identifying and developing up the innovations which is specially required for those nations. And as a result, those uh, or those nations which are following this pedagogy tends to get top ranks in the global innovation ranking, in the global innovation ranking. But fortunately or unfortunately, India's performance is not something which is up to the mark in the global innovation ranking. So probably coming up with an ecosystem like this which is going to foster innovation can have a big impact in terms of rising India's rank in the or India's status in the global innovation ranking in future is also one of the expected uh, outcome of this initiative that is through this the setting up of research centers through institutions innovation council program we are expecting a good rank in the global innovation ranking for our nation in the next two to 
3 years. Innovation cell has undertaken many initiatives in this direction such as some of the initiatives which is with the uh, innovation cell have undertaken to promote innovation ecosystems in our nation would include first one is something which is known as ARIIA, ARIIA or Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievement. Ranking of the institutions across our nation based on the innovation achievement which they have achieved is something which is happening in the ARIIA initiative as well as they have conducted something which is known as Smart India Hackathon in 2019. Smart India Hackathon is an initiative where the technological competences or technological aspects especially with focus on innovation is something which has been conducted so that the innovation ecosystem is something which has been encouraged. So, the two initiatives include utter tracking of institutions as well as the Smart India Hackathon. Now, what are the key focus of IIC? Key focus of IIC would include first one to create a vibrant local innovation ecosystem in our nation because specially the innovation ecosystem is now going to be created at a level of higher education institutions. So, that would be a vibrant local innovation system. One. Second thing is startup supporting mechanisms in higher education institutions giving avenues and giving focus for setting up of startups as well as the incubators in the higher education institutions is also one of the key focus of the IIC program. Then prepare institute for utter ranking of institutions on innovation achievements framework. That is prepare institute for utter ranking of institutions is again something which has been, uh, been targeted upon. Then establish function ecosystem for scouting ideas and pre-incubation of ideas. So, uh, promoting a system or an environment where which you know the ideas has been encouraged upon as well as for the pre-incubation of ideas is again something which has been focused under the IIC initiative. Last but not least is to develop better cognitive ability for technology students because cognitive skills of students especially who are studying in the higher education institutions is of, is of extreme importance for the success of this initiative. So, as a result they are again focusing upon the development of cognitive ability of the children in the higher education institutions especially the technology students. Now, what are all the benefits with the higher education institutions you know once they are going to join this initiative what are all the benefits you know which they are going to get is something again which we need to quickly explore upon. And that would include because without any major capital investment from the higher education and institutions, they will make use of the existing local system, especially being tied up with the innovation councils. One. Second one is students or faculty associated with the ICES will have exclusive opportunity to participate in the various innovation related initiative and competitions organized by the MHRD because in those institutions where this program is being run upon the students are getting an advantage compared to those students who are studying in other institutions to take part in the innovation related program which is been spearheaded by the MHRD. That is the second benefit you know which they are going to get. Obviously you know once the, the students are performing well they are coming up with some uh, great ideas, they would win the, some exciting prizes or certificates you know which is again acting as an element of motivation for them. Then meet or interact renowned business leaders and top notch academicians. Interactions with top notch academicians as well as the business leaders for the uh, students as part of the IAC program is also envisaged. So, it is an avenue for them to learn and understand from the those people who have already traversed the path in a very successful manner. Then opportunity to nurture and prototype new ideas, prototype of new ideas, they are getting a, an ample opportunity and a good opportunity as well as mentoring by the industry professionals, mentoring by the industry professionals, then experiment with, they are getting the avenue to experiment and learn with the new and latest technologies you know which they wanted to do as well as visit new places and visit new cultures within India or even outside depending upon the need of the innovation and the design you know which they are going to come up. So, this is the 
cracks of benefits you know which the higher education institutions are going to get as part of this initiative now let us now see a question which is based on the iic program with reference to iic program which of the statements given below is or are correct is the question statement 1 this is an initiative by the ministry of human resources and development an initiative by the ministry of hrd is the question as we have seen this is an, in, uh, an initiative by the ministry of hrd itself so which is making the first statement correct so first statement correct means we can eliminate option b as well as option d so we are left with either a or c as our answer the second statement is developing better cognitive ability for technology students is one of the key focus of this initiative as we have seen the development of cognitive ability of the students is, is an extremely important component in this iac program so which is again making the second statement correct so the correct answer would now be since one and two are correct the correct answer is option c both one and two thank you so much